Hi, I'm looking for Miss James. Name? Lorelai Gilmore. But I, I go by Rory. Fill this out, please. Well? Shut up. Hurry, please. Spiders. More like Gilmore. Nice stripper name. Formerly of Stars Hollow High School. Where's that? Drive west, make a left at the haystacks, and follow the cows. Ooh, a Dixie chick. Perfect attendance, 4.0 grade point Bugs average. Bugs dirt twigs. She's a journalism major. That means she's going to go out for the school paper. Not necessarily. She's got like a thousand recommendations in here. Popular with the adults and going out for the school paper. Would you stop? You don't know she's going out for the <gasps> oh, paper. Oh, something's biting me. Quiet down. Hate nature. She'll never catch up. She's a month behind already. You can tutor her. Be like a big sister. You're funny. <gasps> okay, lizard, goodbye. Why are they letting all these extra people in? They just take up space and screw up the curve. We don't need any new kids here. Too late. Psst. Here's the dining room, the science hall, the theater. Culture was the dominant outside cultural influence, especially for Russia's moneyed class. English culture also had its impact. Tolstoy's favorite author, for instance, was... Uh... Dickens. Yes. And, of course, last week we covered Dostoevsky's main authorial influences... George Sand and Balzac. Good. As Tolstoy commenced writing both War and Peace and Anna Karenina, Count Leo would turn to... David Copperfield. Correct. He would turn to David Copperfield for inspiration. Oh, I'm Paris. I didn't see you there. Where'd you come from? I know who you are, too. Lorelai Gilmore from Stars Hollow. You can call me Rory. Are you going out for the Franklin? The what? Nice innocent act. At least I know you're not going out for drama club. I'm confused. The Franklin, the school paper, are you going out for it? I don't know. I have to find my locker first. I'm going to be editor next year. Well, good for you. I'm also the top of the class, and I intend to be valedictorian when I graduate. OK, I'm going now. You'll never catch up. You'll never beat me. The school is my domain, and the Franklin is my domain. And don't you ever forget that. Guess you're not going to let me borrow your notes, huh? Sorry, but you're going to open. Oh, no. I am so sorry. Paris, please, I'm so sorry. It was an accident. My, my locker just slipped. I pulled too hard. I, I didn't mean to. Is there water in that mug? Get away from me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No, I did. My locker got stuck, and when I opened Stop it... Stop it! Miss Gilmore, since you say you wrecked Miss Geller's project, then you may help her fix it. You have until tomorrow. Fine. No. Why not? I don't want your help. But I don't mind doing it. Just stay out of this. What is wrong with you? I'm trying to help you. Well, don't. Ladies, enough. Let's try another passage. The Romanists have, with great adroitness, drawn three walls around themselves with which they have hitherto protected themselves so that no one could reform them, whereby Christendom has fallen terribly. Who said this? Martin Luther. Very good, Miss Gilmore. And what year did Martin Luther address the Christian nobility? 1520. Very good, Miss Gilmore. Until next time, class. Stay out of my way. I will make this school a living hell for you. Decent effort by most. Good effort by some. Exceptional effort by two. Ms. Geller. Ms. Grant. Mr. Graham. Ms. Gilmore. Take these home. Learn from your mistakes. Look at the large red circles around various parts of your paper as friendly reminders that to err is human. And that here at Chilton, we try to beat that humanity right out of you. Hard paper. Kill it. How'd you do? A. Me too. A small world. Isn't it? Madeline, what'd you get? You know I got a B. A B's not bad. Oh, not at all. Respectable, even. I'd be proud. A D, however, that would be cause for concern. 
cry for help. A job application at McDonald's. Would you like fries with that? Hey, you know, not everybody can be smart. As my mother always says, somebody has to answer the phones. Okay, I have no idea what you two are talking about. No, but Rory does. I was up all night studying, and then I missed my bus, so I had to drive. Let's discuss this outside. So I'm driving down this road, and I stop, and I get hit by a deer. You hit a deer? No, I got hit by a deer. You don't believe me? I've got antler prints on the side of my mother's car. Rory, come on. No, you have to let me take this test. I'm ready for this test. I know everything there is to know about Shakespeare. Okay, okay, you need to calm down now. I know his birth date and his mother's name and the kind of ink he is. And just what is wrong with you, huh? You already have everything. You already have the grades and the status. What the hell is wrong with you that you have this constant need to be the biggest jerk in the entire world? Okay, let's go. Huh? What's up? What's up, Quippy? Why so silent? Outside, now. Paris? My parents made me come. Oh, God. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. You believe me, don't you? New brochure? Yes. What are you doing here? There's a college fair going on. No. I mean, what are you doing here? I'm getting a new brochure. Why? Because they're not selling pizza. Oh, no. You can't. You're applying to Harvard? Yes. No! Ten generations of Gellers have gone to Harvard. I have to go to Harvard. I can't believe this. You can go somewhere else. Go to Brandeis. Brandeis is nice. I've only ever wanted to go to Harvard. That's it. Nowhere else. It's a big school, I guess. We'll probably never see each other. You think? And if we do, we duck. OK. So. Hey. Are you dating Tristan? What? No. No way. Do you like him? Not even a little. Really? Really. OK. Hey. Nice party. Thanks. Two, please. Idiot. Excuse me? He was totally nice to you, and you couldn't be a bigger jerk. You like Tristan so much, you go out with him. I don't have enough change. Hit me later. What am I, your versateller? Wait for change. I need change now. There's no way you're going with someone better than Tristan. Whatever. You probably don't even have a date. You're probably going to come down with some very rare form of flu that only hits losers on dance night. You know what? I don't want my change. Money makes people shallow. I've got your change. Hey. Hey, if you think I'm keeping this dollar, I'm not. I'll take it. Shut up. Rory, Paris, I see you came. You sold me the ticket. I'm Jacob. Hi, I'm Rory. This is Dean. Hey. Hi. Excuse us. Those are not friends. I was being polite. Well, don't. So, how many people have you told? Four, five, everybody? What are you talking about? You know that Jacob is my cousin, and now you finally have all the ammunition you ever needed just to pay me back, right? I don't want to pay you back. I just want to get away from you. Now you can just go all over the school and just tell everyone that Paris Geller couldn't get a date to the dance, that she had no one, and since she couldn't just not come, she had to get her mother to ask her cousin Jacob to take her, and then she had to give him gas money just to make him do it. Go ahead. Tell them. I don't have to. You just did. Are you OK? Did you really bring your cousin? Dumb girls crave smart men. It's the whole Marilyn Monroe Arthur Miller syndrome. I still think she's lucky. Whoever he's dating is a loser who doesn't care that he's a teacher in this ridiculous school making a ridiculous teacher's salary. What are you looking at? You can't just leave now. Paris, please. 
At least come to my lit class. This place is giving me a headache. Mom, is your face breaking out? No. You have not been using that cleanser, have you? No, Dr. Yanilari prescribed that cleanser for a reason, to cleanse. Just lit class. Paris, with everything I have going on right now, the last thing I need to do is face a bunch of bored people who are gossiping about me. I'll see you later at home. Use that cover stick I got you. just talking about the mom that Mr. Medina was seen kissing just now. What? And the weird thing is, she looks a lot like your mom. What are you talking about? Your mom, Mr. Medina, mouths open. I saw them. How's the coast law? Good? See, I told you he wouldn't date a teacher. I wish my mom would sleep with my teacher. It would make midterms a lot easier. Mm. Madeline, Louise, would you excuse us for a minute? Ooh, cat fight. Go. You're not going to kiss me, are you? What is wrong with you? Nothing. I'm great. You've just spent the past two weeks with all of your family's private problems printed in the newspaper for everyone to read and talk about. I saw how you walked around here. I saw how much you hated it. And then you turn around and pull something like this? Doesn't that seem crazy to you? Do you have any idea how many people you've hurt? Forget me and my mom. What about Mr. Medina? He likes you, he encourages you, he holds up your papers and tells the class how great you are. And then you turn around and spread stories about him. Whatever, forget it, you have no idea what I'm talking about. I do like Mr. Medina. Well, I'd take some dance classes because the way you express yourself needs a little work. I probably shouldn't have told people what I saw. No, you shouldn't have. I'm sorry. Things have been, well, not good lately. I know. I just didn't want them talking about me anymore. That's all. Well, it worked. Yeah. You know, if, if you ever want to talk... Hey, we are not friends. Well, that I know. But if you ever do want to talk about... I will, if I want to. Okay. But I probably won't. That's fine. But if I do... I'm around. Okay. I'm going now. Bye. Bye. I doubt I will. I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> Rory, I think your friends are here. And they're off. The bell just rang three seconds ago. How did they get lip locked so fast? I want a boyfriend to make out with. Hey, Ty Tolson likes you. I want a different boyfriend to make out with. I can't get to my locker. I'm sure they'll move if you ask nice. You know, dangle a hotel key in front of their faces. <laughs> this is a school. You don't do this in a school. No, not unless you've got a boyfriend like Tristan. Then you do it anywhere you can. Street corner. Shopping mall. Phone booth. Starbucks. Hey, thank you for the where to make out list. I just need to get my books. <laughs> I'll have no fear. Excuse me. You're in my way. Hey, spawn in front of somebody else's locker, please. I'm assuming your locker is in there somewhere also? Yep, right behind Belle Watling. Have you tried to get their attention? Sure have. No luck? Nope. God, look at that. It's like he's eating her face. Oh, OK, that's it. I'm getting the fire hose. Let me try first. Hey. Could you two just move this whole thing down to the left a little? What? You're standing in front of the lockers. Our lockers? Oh, sorry. I just got a little carried away. Right. Hey, Paris. Hey. You should get bangs. Thanks for the tip. You have a long forehead? Bangs would hide that. Hey, party at my house Saturday. Just to impress, please. Come. 
Oh, I don't know. You could bring your boyfriend. I'll see. So, meet me after biology? And if I don't? You will. Oh, yes, I will. Ah, to be young and in love. What a shame Elizabeth Barrett Browning wasn't here to witness this. She put her head through a wall. Later, Paris. No glove, no love. Lovely. So I didn't think you were much of a party girl. I'm not usually, but I thought I might come by and check it out. It's the same exact people we see every day at school, except now we get to see them dance. So where is your boyfriend? We, um, we broke up. Oh. Well, at least you've had a boyfriend for a while. So do you know um, which way will lead us to some soda? Keep up, because I'm not turning around. Wow, you didn't exaggerate. Paris needs no embellishment. All this soda is French. Madeline's mother has a French fetish. She's obsessed with all things French. French wine, French food, French water, French cellulite products. Why won't you answer? I just love that summer, don't you? 9.45. Why do you keep checking your watch? My mom says I have to stay till 10.30. Why would she care? She thinks I'm not enough of a people person. Shocking, huh? I'm floored. Yeah, well, I doubt highly that Madame Curie was voted most likely to dress like Jennifer Lopez. You want to be a scientist? Cancer research. Cool. Yeah. Oh, no. Unbelievable. She's here five minutes. She has a date. I've been going to the school nine years, and I'm the French soda monitor. My watch stopped. What time is it? It's 10.35. Yes, bye. You're going to hold this evening over my head for the rest of my life, aren't you? Probably. Bye. Work. But I strongly urge you, if you have not already read The Art of Fiction, Read it. It's a remarkable manifesto that contains basic truths that still apply to fiction in any form. All right, so, Henry James, the man of the moment. Pick your book, read it carefully. A full report on my desk one week from today. Any questions? Ms. Gilmore, any questions? Oops. Ms. Gilmore? Yes. Did you hear the assignment? Um, no, I'm sorry. Henry James. Pick your novel, a report on my desk in one week. You got it? Yes, I got it. See you tomorrow. You didn't take one note. You resorting to the osmosis theory of learning? Why do you care? I don't. Just making an observation. Great. We'll build a dome over you and jam a telescope in your head. Miss Gilmore, can I talk to you for a minute? Oh, OK. Toodles. Ta. I'll get working on that dome. Oh, Rory, favor, big one. Look at the face. Sure, what? Can I get your biology notes from Tuesday? I was out. To lunch. <laughs> Please? Sure, I have them at home. I can bring them later. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One more and you're done. Thank you. So, I've decided I'm now completely into Judy Garland. Did you mm -hmm. see the TV movie? Pretty intense. I think I used my mother's medicine cabinet in that. She was the Courtney love of her day. Show me a trend and I'll show you Madeline. Judy mm -hmm. Garland is trendy? Completely. She's neurotic retro chic. No one tells me these things. Hi. Hey. Ooh, what are those? LPJ Harvey tickets. Really? Cool. Who are you going with? Rory. What? Rory's going out with you? Yes, she is. Wow, I didn't think she liked him. Neither did I. Hmm, do you think she's mad? What are you two waiting for, a tram? Let's move. Oh, yeah, she's mad. What? You know, when we met at the beginning of the year, I didn't like you because I thought you were some rube from the sticks, and I have no patience for rubes. How very enlightening. But then I discovered that you're not so dumb. You even seemed modestly interesting at times. Mm. That's when I made a very big mistake. I let my guard down. That won't happen again. What is all this about? It's about using people for your own sick ends. It's about making enemies where you should have made friends. How did I make you my enemy? Oh, I think you know. What, was it setting you up with Tristan? I'm sorry about that. I thought I was just being nice. Oh, sure you did. I helped you get ready. I loaned you my mother's clothes, which I still haven't gotten back, by the way. Oh, my god, you're right. I hope those weren't the ones Skippy had her puppies on. I'll check when I get home. Tell me what I did. Paris, think about it at PJ Harvey. Is that what this is about? I'm not going to PJ Harvey. Tristan says you are. 
Well, then he lied. I saw the tickets. He bought those tickets on his own. Look, I'm over Tristan, so don't back out on my account. There's nothing to back out of. I don't have time for things like concerts anyway. I'm already lining up my extracurriculars for next year. By the way, are you still going out for the school paper? You know I am. You're going to need a faculty recommendation. I think I can swing it. And the support of the student editor. I'm not worried. Worry. I just got the job. Oh. Congratulations. Thank you. And don't worry. You'll have some role. How's covering the new parking lot landscaping sound? Peachy. Too bad I already filled the slot for music coverage. You know, record reviewing and such. You'd have been perfect for it. I gave the job to Louise. Louise owns two CDs. Yeah. Well, we gotta go. Have a really good summer.